This is Betty Murphy, president of the Irish Wolfhound Club of Ireland. She stands five feet tall. Her hound's forehead is equal to her elbow, which means he's just shy of three feet tall. This ancient breed has been towering above others for more than at least 2,000 years. Their original purpose? To hunt down some of Ireland's fiercest beasts by using their keen sight and their strong legs and chest to chase and overtake prey, including wolves and wild boar. Some legends mention that the hounds were also used to track down gigantic Irish elk, but it's now believed that that's just a tall tale. Release the dog. We have lots of myths and legends going back from the first century. Now, all these are sagas, and there's no doubt they have been embellished, but a lot of them have little bits of fact. The hound is thought to have come to Ireland with the Celts in about uh, 500 BC. Back then, the breed names included Irish Hound, Irish Wolf Dog, and Coo. The word Coo, in addition to meaning a hound, meant a strong hound. So strong, soldiers used the hounds to knock the enemy from their horses. It's also been said the giant dogs led soldiers to battle and acted as sentries behind the fortresses. Stay, boy. Even today, the Irish Army prefers a wolfhound to lead its troops as its official mascot. Such devotion only unfolds after a breed earns centuries of respect. The Irish wolfhound's heroism is legendary, and one epic tale remains a favorite among Irish wolfhound followers.